alongside me for this one. We'll get his thoughts uh, in a moment as the two teams make their way out onto the field. Uh, it's a Sukuni side, as I said, that have enjoyed a good run of form. Well, that there was just a little blemish when they got uh, bump bundled out of the cup in their last outing. That uh, marked their first winner or first defeat of the year, but they're still undefeated in the DSTV Premiership this year. They come up against the Pirate side who are still uh, uh, got a spring in their step after a positive win. Again, of course, a big win against Chiefs in the Derby in the DSTV Premiership. And then also booking a place comfortably with a win over Hungry Lions. Lindam Tambo, former Buccaneer, leads out this Kukuna United side. He captains Kukuna United. And, uh, well, let's uh, talk you through what the coaches have done then. Lesson Olasiema makes just the one change from the team that lost uh, to Amazulu in the cup. Jamie Weber gets to start uh, this time. It's uh, only his uh, 11th start of the season. While well, uh, here's the man of the moment, Elvis uh, uh, Mukwana, who's uh, fresh from his Bafana Bafana exploit, scoring on debut. And he'll be a man in uh, lots of confidence. So, uh, but uh, just a one change then uh, from CMA's side. As for Pirates, uh, lots of changes from a team that uh, breeze past uh, Hungry Lions, uh, as you might expect. Uh, Jose Rivero has shuffled the pack. Uh, just put it this way there's only four survivors from a team that beat uh, uh, Hungry Lions. There's a change in goal where Sipa Chain comes back. Uh, and uh, look out for uh, Tabi Solibito, a man who scored a firecracker, his first goal of the season. Uh, that was uh, in the derby and another uh, tabi so there it's the story of the tabi so in the pirate side sesani who makes his uh, second orlando pirates uh, debut having been out on loan at uh, all stars uh, he's uh, included uh, in the back uh, line uh, there no koki no spicy uh, Mayela is on the bench and uh, yeah, we'll get the uh, Pumozo manager's thoughts in a moment about what all that means let's go with the uh, home side first just the one change 4-3-3 is the formation that CMA wants to play. Kadoso will be key in that uh, centre-back. Mukoto key in that midfield. Up top, they play with a false nine. Mukwana, uh, Mutambo and Ngube will be key. Mukwana, confidence coming from that Wafana game where he scored on debut. They'll be looking for him to get the goals. As for London Pirates? On the other side, it's a 4-2-3-1 formation. Sasani makes uh, his return to this Orlando Pirates team. Key for him, a capable centre-back that I know. Uh, Miguel team captains this team. His 55th appearance for Orlando Pirates and he captains them. Up top, they'll be looking for Mavasa to get the goals. The creativity of Zamini would be key in that 10 position. Our referee is a former PSL referee of the year, Luke Olopati. Many hails from M Tata. As uh, so, uh, is assisted by Kamus Rasmisani and uh, Tabutina Nim to me, Mosala will do the paperwork on the sidelines. Our match commissioner is Paulo Marx, uh, former assistant referee. There's Jose Rivero, man who has now taken charge of 50 matches uh, for Orlando Pirates, becoming only the sixth coach uh, with that distinction in the PSL era. There you go, uh, early Sandar foreground there. We'll have uh, a new partner in defense in the form of Sasani. There's a former Orlando Pirates uh, captain, a former Orlando Pirates defender, now coach of Skukuna United. He's been, uh, had them going on a really great run before that uh, loss uh, to Amazulu in the cup. Lisono Losiema will look to pull one uh, um, off against uh, his uh, former uh, club. Sipo Chain back in goal, preferred to uh, Telezi, who will uh, uh, take, he'll be on the bench. Uh, other changes in that starting lineup. A total of uh, seven changes in all. Talent Mbata in that midfield, uh, the former Super Sport United man. Cabello Zamini gets his uh, first start of the current campaign. And uh, Dion Hot also returning to the fray. We are under the referee's orders. And uh, Look all the party gets us underway. It's DSTV Premiership around 20 um, of the DSTV Premiership. It's Kukuna United in red, the home side, taking on Orlando Pirates uh, who are wearing their away strip uh, at uh, lime colored uh, strip. And so I said, Orlando Pirates uh, will have started the weekend in second spot, but by the time they kicked off, uh, were bumped uh, down to third as uh, Stelis with a convincing win 3 0 at home uh, to Royal AM moved into second spot. So, this great season for Stelis, uh, um, the Stelis uh, great season continuing. 
And Skukune United currently in sixth. They're looking to avoid a 30 feet of a season against Orlando Pirates. One nil was the, was the score line when they met uh, at the Orlando Stadium. But uh, in the MTNA, aid, it was a hammering that Skukune received from Pirates. Five nil with a rampant Zakele Lepasa getting a hat trick. He's on the bench tonight, Zakele Lipasa, hoping for an opportunity to play against Skukune because the last time he played against them, he got that head trick, obviously, and he will want to redeem himself because he has also lost his place in the Bafana team. So the more game time he gets at club level, it will give him the confidence and it will give Yuko Bruce another look in. Yes, sir, you, are, you must know if uh, Hugo Bruce uh, drops you because he certainly does have uh, his... Uh, Try is tested, tried and tested players. The likes of Nico Movi and Lepasa would have counted in that list for me as players who are almost guaranteed selection. Of course, there's no such thing as guaranteed selection, but uh, even at a time when Lepasa wasn't uh, a first choice at uh, club level, he was getting into uh, the Bafana Bafana squad. And most of his players, uh, credit to Hugo Bruce, have generally rewarded his trust in them. I mean, another player that you can add. Let's have a look at uh, Mufuke here. Early touch for him there. What about that delightful uh, diagonal ball coming from Sasani? Very comfortable on his feet. He's got the ability to play the, the short and the long pass. Uh, finding really Mufuke on, on the run. Miscommunication between him and uh, um, Saleng in that moment. Yeah, it's a very great ball to pick out there. Uh, Mufuke. And having a, his breakout a season, this is his uh, 16th appearance, 17th appearance of the season for Rilevohile Mufuking, formerly, of course, with the DDC side that season. And uh, well, since being given his uh, debut for the senior team, he really hasn't looked back. Just a one goal for him uh, in the current uh, campaign. Got one in two appearances last season as well. Two in all competition to go together with the three assists, uh, one exciting, one for the future, one that has uh, the ability to improve with every game that he's playing. And it's good to see Coach Jose Rivero uh, keeping his confidence in the young man, giving him an, um, an opportunity. Today again, he gives another young man an opportunity in Sasania center back. There's two teenagers out on the field there. Mufo came for London Pirates and uh, uh, one of the fullbacks, Aseko Tiwani for Skukune. Just 18 years old and already looking like a seasoned veteran of this uh, Skukune side. This is just his uh, fifth appearance. Another one who has come through the Diski challenge. Eighth appearance in, in all competition. Um, that is Tiwana. I love his, uh, his game, an offensive fullback at left back for, for Skukune. One that um, is going to test Livito on the on that right hand side of, of defense for Orlando Pirates. One nil was the score line when the two sides last met. Tabi Somognani getting the goal when the sides met at Orlando Stadium in the DSTV Premiership. Keys are there, former Chippa United man, just uh, in the background there. He has formed a very good uh, combination with uh, Kamuhelo Mukocho as, as the two sixes for Skukune. They've given them the balance, given them the, the protection in front of that uh, back four uh, when you're looking at Skukune in that midfield. Your thoughts uh, there, um, uh, Coach uh, Siema, having decided to leave uh, Ohizu, who is their top scorer, on the bench um, uh, and actually play without an out-and-out -out striker. What do you make of that uh, ploy? Yeah, when you look at that, it's a man that has got six goals in all competition to go together with the one assist. But we've seen the modern game where coaches have opted to go with a false nine instead of an out-and-out -out, uh, number nine. But it, it, I'm looking forward to see how Orlando Pirates are going to deal with the threat that Skukune is going to pose without an out-and-out -out number nine. How are they going to deal with those late runs from that man in your picture? Move it, the late runs from uh, uh, Mutambo and Mukwana. How are they going to deal with it? Because when you look at an Olisander, he's used to having a number nine to pick up. Today, he has no one to pick up. Stionato here seems to have picked up a knock. Orlando Pirates uh, will uh, really have uh, 
disappointed. We'll be disappointed with the with the record away from home. Have not been uh, particularly prolific on the road this season. Just the three wins from their ten matches this season. They've drawn four on the road and lost uh, three. And uh, they've also haven't had many goals on the road this season. Pirates. Uh, they've uh, only eight goals on the road this season, which is uh, out of ten matches which is tied with the team bottom of the table, Spurs, in terms of the least amount of goals away from home. Let's keep down Spurs, who are basement dwellers. But, uh, well, Spurs uh, will have an opportunity as we take a look at this shot from uh, range, but well wide of a uh, target. Uh, and it's uh, Vusim Nube who pulled the trigger there. Nube, just the one goal in the DSTV Premiership. Excellent in terms of playing uh, in tight spaces. Excellent in terms of finding the spaces in the pocket. That is Linda Dumbo. A lovely turn to spin Miguel there. And he has got everything worked out. After I make that turn, I'm going to have a second on two to, for, of space and time to be able to have a shot at goal. That was uh, Linda Dumbo with a the, with the shot there. But so far, uh, this is in two goals that he has contributed to go together with the one assist, one of the danger men tonight. But you should mention, of course, uh, that those two goals have come from only four appearances appearances in the DSTV Premiership this season had a long injury lay off had a bad ankle injury and uh, it was a long way back to uh, for him and uh, he'll be absolutely delighted to not just be back in the lineup but not just to be scoring but just to be back in the lineup and uh, yeah he'll be looking to pull one over his uh, former club here yeah um, um, spend a lot of time at Orlando Pirates that is uh, Linda Mdambo uh, moving away to go to Skukune given the responsibility of leading this Kukune side and he has really done well whenever it's available but he has been he has had a lot of injuries in this Kukune team. Tabi Solibito there in your picture is a player who actually was uh, first uh, brought into not to the Pirates setup but uh, in his time at Bloemfontein Celtic it was Lefono Losiema that uh, brought him into the side and then uh, took him to Chippa United as well from uh, where he is now joined the Lando Pirates. The unavailability of Tito Masongani also gives an opportunity to uh, Cabello Tamini to, to be in the starting lineup for Lando Pirates. Uh, the previous game that he played for, for Pirates was in the Nedbank Cup where he came on and gave an assist and a secondary assist. The absence of Masangai gives him an opportunity in that term role to be the creative spark and the thinking tank for Land Pirates. Kukune United. As I said, they've been in a very good vein of uh, form uh, in this calendar year, winning four out of four since uh, um, the start of uh, the resumption of the DSTV Premiership after the Africa Cup of Nations and uh, hit a bit of a speed wobble when they knocked out of the cup and will be looking to get back to winning ways and in the process as i said avoid a hat-trick of defeats against orlando pirates yeah when you look in the last five games in all competition between the two it's three wins for 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 pirates a draw and one win for for skukune it does get him a little bit there i think they they there's a little bit of contact on the on the toe of lindam dumbo and the Ref was correctly positioned to make the decision. Free kick then, uh, Jamie Weber, set piece specialist. Uh, to just look to, oh, that's not, it's not his best delivery by a long shot. Comes to Kamelo Mugojo, who's a uh, club degenerate. We're in action uh, in the Netbank Cup. Uh, against uh, TS Galaxy um, uh, a couple of weeks ago and bowing out of uh, the Netbank Cup there at the last 16 stage which was a decent run for an ABC Motipe a league side whoa good work here from Mabasa a little bit casual says so sneaking in and stealing that ball there and uh, catching out the defender and it's Badra, by the way, who's back in uh, goal. Now Dolina kept goal uh, last time out, and uh, Badra chasing a lost cause. That is Mabasa. He gets the 
before the, the, the two miscommunication between Batra and Tijuana and he nearly benefited that is Mabasa. He says I was looking for that far pose. Were you going there, Saleh? That is the question he asks. It's a real striker's instinct there from uh, to Mabasa. His second coming here at Orlando Pirates. Cabello, Jamini in the starting lineup but for the first time this season. His ninth appearance of the campaign. His previous eight have all come off the bench. Oh, Jamie Weber's pass is a deal. It was a poor one. There was something on there. And there was space for Mukwana to work with. Good work from Mukwana and, and Jamie Weber, but the, the pass was not the desired one. Uh, good press uh, from that short corner that Orlando Paris was trying. Pato. Gage Salim, who scored against. Uh, Against Kukune when they met in that MT and eight, one of the five goals was Salengs. Yeah, when you look at um, Saleng in the last two games for Orlando Pirates, he's managed to score three goals. I think it's he's picking up that form that we saw last season, where he was able to score 15 goals in all competition to go together with the 10 assists. I think I saw glimpses of uh, Saleng from last season in that uh, last two games for Pirates. Which will delight the Pirates fans who are wondering what has happened to him. He wasn't uh, starting as many matches. I mean, he's only um, made 13 appearances. This is his 14th this season and his eighth start of the campaign in the DSTV Premiership. Uh, but uh, he's uh, on a hot streak at the moment, uh, as you say. Coming off a brace in the uh, Soweto Derby. Mobi. And... Uh, was with Bafana Bafana as well. He mentioned uh, that uh, he's definitely one of his uh, Ugo Bruce's trusted players. I'll tell you another one who's uh, added his name to that list. A player who's not uh, even featuring in the match day squad either for Orlando Pirates. As uh, well, uh, in them tumble, not happy with the call. Not happy with a call. Two players are uh, down. Is it, uh, is the sign for Orlando Pirates is down. And the uh, question is, uh, and Jamie Weber is the other player who's down. question is, uh, who the ref will decide to book here? Oh, but I think Sasani is uh, definitely going to be lucky to get away without a booking. They went through his man there. But we am still. It, it, it does make contact with uh, Jamie Weber that is Sasani he does not get to the ball. I think it will be the correct decision to yeah. to give the yellow card to Sasani. But on the other side, the ref needs to look to to say is uh, Weber going to the ball or is preventing Sasani from getting to the ball. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why I cast but I'm a room still at the ball. So what's the English word for for telling him? <laughs> that way, you, know, you went to private private school. You should tell us <laughs> what is stella in English. <laughs> Suppose you could describe it as a body check. Is, uh, that would be my offer. I can't think of any other term that would come close to describing what Ustela Mutu is. I'm sure Jesse number 10 is writing the notes there in studio. <laughs> and in fact, there's three of them that uh, are Jesse number 10s. Uh, they will figure it out. Are you saying Giddy Jesse number 10 is Oh, jersey number 10. There's three jersey number 10s in studio today. I'm not gonna say it. Back to the lecture at hand. It's a great ball for Saleh to chase from Tim. Fakis like Mufukeng chasing. Now, Hato. Saleh giving chase. And uh, watched it behind by Tiwani. It's a great ball once again. That uh, diagonal ball to find uh, the run of uh, Mufuki Tiwani. It will be interesting to see uh, Rile Mufuki go to the right hand side. You see a 19 year old versus the 18 year old in that uh, left side for Skukuni. Uh, Tiwana versus Rile Mufuki. It will be an interesting challenge of the teenagers. On the right hand side.
Long ball forward uh, for Lindham Dumbo to chase. Uh, falls for Jamie Weber. That was enough, not enough power. He got it on target. Uh, but the keeper had it covered. Good press uh, coming from um, Kukune organized. Uh, Jamie Weber getting an opportunity to have a shot at goal. But good positioning coming from Sipetai in making it look easy, which was not an easy save at all. Super chain. Uh, tenth start for him this season. Utele is the, was the man in goal last time out. Now, Saleh looking to combine with uh, the beats on that side. out by a movie although there was a not a good pass easily read by Nico Movi. I love the counter press he loses the ball that is the uh, Mbata but he reacts the quickest to recover it Sasani undecisive he sees that if he plays it to the goalkeeper Lindam Dambo is anticipating he decides to, to try play it on the side good anticipation coming from Jamie Weber and he finishes off with a shot at goal unlucky four goals so far in the league for Jamie Weber this season Score on debut uh, for Skukunet and Jamie Weber. From a set piece. Oh, nice work from uh, Hotto there. Beautiful feet. Now, Bata playing it with Miguel Tim. And out. There was a mini court there by Mugwana. kick for London Pirates. Mugwana, who should be saying play two, score two for Bafana Bafana, but was denied a second by, uh, you know, via technicality, but the truth is, well, that's the way the rules work. Whoever gets the last touch on the ball before it goes into the net, it's his goal. Which I wonder about, though, because uh, just recently, you know, it's like the goalkeepers, the goal own goals that are given against goalkeepers when he comes off the back of his head or something like that. That should be given to player show. Now, here's an opportunity for Pirates here. Options here. Do you test the Batra? Africa Cup of Nations a winning goalkeeper. Though he had to play second fiddle in that tournament for Cote d'Ivoire. Now, Otto goes into the wall. Disappointing effort there. Ulisanda. Speed there from one. It's a good ball, and the flag has stayed down here. Mufukeng. Can he pick out Salim? Was waiting in the middle there. Mufukeng. Still Mufukeng. The goal is up on the shot on the near post. Batra had it covered. Salim was screaming for the ball, but uh, the youngster dallied on the ball a little. from Kizze. Take shielding the ball, they're using his uh, substantial frame. What about the progressive pass that comes from Kabela Zamini? Uh, the timing of the run coming from Rile Mufukeng. The composure, yes, you give him credit for the composure. Could he have found Saleh a little bit earlier? He twists and turns, uses his skill and nippiness, and a great save on the near post coming from Badra Sangara. Good work coming from Zamini and Rile Mufukeng. Frustrated, he could not hit the back of the net. 20 minutes gone at the Peter Mugaba Stadium. Nil nil. And that 20 minutes has uh, flown by. This is, by the way, one of uh, two matches uh, underway. TS Galaxy uh, at home to Amazulu in a game that kicked off about uh, 15 minutes before this one. Is uh, why 
he gets preferred because that's the kind of uh, goalkeeper the oh dispossessed here in a dangerous area are uh, Orlando Pirates uh, could be troubled the cutback uh, only Sanda had to get something on that because uh, Linda Mdambo was lurking but uh, good defending to clear the danger carelessly given away there by Orlando Pirates in very dangerous uh, territory was a libito that got uh, dispossessed but the confidence of Mokwana coming from that FIFA grade, having scored a goal, having played in both matches, so for Bofana Mokwana, for me, I thought that he's, he has been excellent. You can see the confidence, you can see uh, his light on his feet whenever he, the opportunity arises. And that Dumbo there, so what happened there? The catcher, Sasani on his way through, it, so that seems to be the point that's being made by Chain, who might talk his way into the book here if he's not careful. Ah, there you go. He successfully does that. Uh, needless, really. That uh, is an avoidable yellow card and chain, super chain. Yep. And to the face, it's deemed to be a, a, a yellow card. Um, Linda Mtambo is a little bit guilty because he looks back after doing it. Uh, Sipo China still does not guarantee him uh, his behavior that he has uh, dished out there, getting himself a uh, yellow card. Yet. I don't think there's a need for him yeah, to receiving that yellow card. I think it's not even... You see, the thing, here's the thing. It's not about the protest. You don't get booked for protesting a, a, a referee's decision or lack of decision. It's how you do it. It's what you say to the referee. Has any player ever seen a player that protests and the referee changes their mind? And the ref says, you've got a point. Good protest, therefore. <laughs> I will change my decision. It does not happen. So, yeah, Chain has uh, earned himself a portion. The first Pirates player into the book. In fact, the second Pirates player into the book after Sasani. Now, at the other end, uh, Sangare is battling. Chain, by the way, that uh, card takes him to three yellow cards. As uh, Sandinem Teto in conversation with the referee, with the coach, you think there could be a change here? Um, it, it's what you see in modern football. Um, when there's something the coach sees sometimes, he will speak to the player that is concerned, in the department is concerned about. And in that instance, you see him uh, speaking to uh, M. Tetra in that, yeah. in that moment. Is he seeing something we, we spoke about, um, Skukune not playing with an out and out number nine? Is the coach seeing something that he feels he needs to share with the with M. Tetra at that time to say we were maybe anticipating or his or his is not there? Do you see how it changes? The shape of Skukune in terms of what they are doing in the in the front three with Linda Mdambo, with uh, Nube and also Mukwana playing as three uh, false nine uh, and interchanging positions at, at times. It's, it's good to see the coach sharing with the with the players, even though they are not on the field of play. Well, I think also what would be important, I think, and perhaps also why that conversation was happening, a direct conversation with uh, Sami Mdambo, is that he might well find himself on the field because uh, Sasan has already been booked. There's a long way to go yet in this game. And, you know, uh, the coach might well think about, depending on how this game continues, and, uh, you know, if uh, Skupune maybe start to apply a bit of pressure in the area, in the direction of uh, Sasani, you know, he does risk getting a second portion. So, Tetra could well find himself on the field. Yeah, we've seen coaches do that where um, a centre-back or a defensive midfielder is booked, and the coach feels that there's a threat of... Uh, of him maybe getting caught and then the coach ends up deciding to save the player instead of uh, letting, him, letting him get a red card. We saw it with Orlando Pirates versus Mamelo de Sundowns when Miguel team picked up a yellow card earlier on. Early in the second half he picks up another a, a second yellow which meant that they had to finish the game with 10 men. Another player who is uh, still an absentee now uh, from London Pirates is uh, 
is Marcus Lenima Khaula, but the good news about him is that uh, he has uh, been reported, was reported, in fact, the next day after he collapsed on the field there against Hungry Lions, the next day it was reported that he's perfectly fine. It has been given all clear. He's still not involved in the match day squad. And uh, I would imagine that's all precautionary as uh, no further details were given as to what exactly happened there, but it's always frightening to see that happening on the field of play and unfortunately we've seen way too many of those type of incidents uh, in the recent past of players just collapsing on the field a workhorse um, a leader on the field of play uh, a man that you can go to battle with it was unfortunate uh, when we saw him go down in that game but uh, the medical team of Orlando Pirates I think uh, there was a statement uh, that said is all cleared now Makaula and uh, not involved in today's match day squad though. Sonny gets a put onto that one, a pull onto that one, gets it back to the defender. Miguel Tim wearing the captain's armband this evening. He is a, definitely a leader, is Miguel Tim. Is one of the more experienced players in the United squad. And for King, immediately closed down quickly there. Kept in play. Cut back here now. Shamini on his less favorite right boot. For me, it's the pass. For me, it's the pass from Rilem Fouke. Uh, 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 it's called pass, no look. Um, he acts like he's going to play the cross. Uh, but he already knows where Tamini is. He has picked up an excellent position just uh, on the D-line. Look at the pass. Pass no look. He, he, he finds Lamini in that instance. Could he have played the ball to Mbata? He goes for that weaker foot. That is Lamini. Unlucky not to get on target. Just a warning there. For Skukune. Orlando Pirates. Uh, another entry into the box. They actually lead the PSL in terms of box entries. Into the into the opposition box or interest into the opposition box and the PSL with 472 that's coming into today's game. Compare that with only 295 for Skuku. Here they come. But I guess it's not about the frequency with which you enter the box, it's what you do when you do get in there. And clearly Skuku have been very effective uh, so far in this calendar year. And that's why they're on this rich vein of form. Looking to win five matches in the DSTB Premiership in a row for the first time. The threat of Cardoso, the, the threat of Yamba, uh, Linda Mdambo also uh, very good in the air, Mukwana. Those are the players that Orlando Pirates needs to watch out for. Jamie Weber delivers. Solid header away. Tim's done well here. Oh, now the ref spotted something. He's given a free kick against Miguel Tim. Is it uh, for a high boot against uh, Kamuela Mugojo? Let's take a look. Yeah, I think it was a 50 50 sort of ball. Both of the players went up for it. Not much protest from uh, Mugojo, but. Um Maybe the ref looking at it and saying Miguel Tim's foot was leading with the start. That's why uh, he gives a free kick against Orlando Paris. That's not a good uh, ball in uh, from Weber. Just gets away from uh, Linda Mdambo. Figo, they call him. Now. As we hit the half hour mark here still locked at nil 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 as well uh, out in uh, Mbombela, TS Galaxy nil, Amazulu nil the match, the earlier match that we showed you here in Cape Town uh, nil all draw there as well between Cape Town City and Kaiser Chiefs, Cape Town City still without a win in 2024 absolutely remarkable stuff there I think we need to give credit to CM and his technical team. I think a good game plan to to have that numerical advantage in the in the midfield and 
Orlando Pirates have been a little bit frustrated because they have not been able to find Flamini on the ball a lot more times. There, I think more keys and Kocho, whereby has been solid uh, together with the, the roving nines that are playing up top. They've managed to have the numerical advantage in that midfield zone, and hence uh, not a lot of threat coming from Orlando Pirates. Weber. Mugwan. So too much of it to Miguel Tim. Tim keeps going. Chasing it is Weber. Picks out Dumbo. Thought about the shot. Now a ball. Great ball in here. And it's a Nube. Oh, is it? It is a Pussy Nube. That capitalizes on the little dink into the box by Linda Tambo. And uh, keep up was a little slow in coming off of that one, but uh, it's the home side that make the breakthrough. Pussy Nube with his only his second goal of the campaign opens the scoring here. Good we were game. just giving uh, credit to Skukune for their game plan. Good game plan coming from Skukune. Two of the three false nine combined. It's good speed from Weber. He's able to find Lindam Tambu. We spoke about him finding the spaces in the pocket. What about that reverse pass to be able to find him over? He does not connect all that well with that ball, but it's enough to put the ball in the back of the net. He drops off Lindam Tambu. He, he, he attracts the two center backs. Move with the run and his ability to be able to finish. Goal number two in all competition, but for me, is the pass from Lindam Dumbo, a well taken goal by Skukune. And as you say, it wasn't the cleanest the contact uh, that uh, Lindam Dumbo, in fact, he almost, uh, you know, kicked kick the ground just as he um, got onto that one. But it was enough contact, enough to get the ball through to uh, Mube, who opens the score, and then. Uh, it is Kukune that take the lead. Now Pirates looking for an immediate response. Hotto. Good work from Mugwana Kambe. A little bit of pressure helping out in defense. Or Elvis Mugwana there. Pirates come again. That's overcooked. So, way too much on that one from the former Super Sports United man. Talent impact. You know, when you're given a name like that, gosh, the pressure. You have to show some talent at some point that clearly his has been found on the football field. But his talent is spelled with an H. Oh, talent. <laughs> you've, shown, you've shown a lot of talent though from uh, his days in the development team of uh, Super Sport United uh, attracting the attention of uh, a lot of pirates uh, coming here in the transfer window in, in January and being able to find a starting bet at Orlando Pirates says a lot about the talent that he had indeed and this is a player who by the way had only made two appearances this season for for Super Sport United both of them off the bench and now already, this is his third start for Pirates. So there's, clearly they saw something in the player that they could utilize. And they're just adding, adding depth to this Pirates uh, squad. This is the frustration that Orlando Pirates has because they've got a wall of eight players in front of them at all times and they've got the ball. They're not even challenging the two center backs when they have the ball. They have to deal with that low block. They turn there from Camilo Tamini. Cardoso gets it away. What a pro this man is. Last season he played every minute of every single match for Skokone United. And uh, he's picked up where he left off in this current season. This is uh, match number 18 for Daniel. Cardoso This is what uh, Skukune are doing well. They, they are playing with three false nines, not an out and out number nine. 
So usually you'll find that the nine does not even get involved in the build-up phase as again they get frustrated and they lose the balls. Kukune on, on transition. Mugwana hopping up on the right hand side this time too much uh, on that one for Dindam Dambo. An assist. He's already been uh, very involved in this game. I'm sure he was up for it. And uh, he's been involved uh, in the goal as well. Game. This is the frustration I'm speaking about, TT. Look at the lines of four that Paraj have to deal with. As soon as they bypass the first line, the, the ability of Kukune to be able to take away space and time for Orlando Paraj, they're not bothered. There's no red shirt that is going to, to, to press Orlando Paraj. So when Mbata drops into that midfield, it means that um, Kukune still have the numerical advantage behind the ball at all times. And that's something that Siema has done so well uh, in terms of his game plan coming into this game. plan that uh, CMI has worked out here is working to perfection thus far. Ten, I mean, just under 10 minutes to go to the break now. Harris with a lot of the ball. Flag was up uh, top side against Salim from the far side assistant, Tabo Chinani. Encouragement from Jose Rivero. that Pirates with 65% of the ball. Bobby. So, uh, Jamie Weber has him for it but uh, gives away the free kick. Uh, the question is where those for the pass accuracy, where are those passes happening? That's the thing, 65% of um, ball position, one shot on target. On the other side of Skukune with the 35% uh, ball position, they've got more shots on target than Orlando Pirates. So it's about the areas that Skukune are, are worried about when Pirates have the position and where Pirates are having that ball position. Now, the cutback away by Mkise. The cutout by Mkise. Chain coming up to sweep. 11 red shirts in their own half. Orlando Pirates have been two players in their own half. Now Nda needs to find a solution in that midfield. In that midfield, it's so difficult to find space and time because when you get into that mid zone, that's where Skukune men mark. That's where Skukune follow, follow players tight. So uh, Jose Rivera and his technical team has to find uh, the ability to unlock. And the midfielders need to find the dodge to be able to free themselves to be able to receive, especially in that central corridor where uh, Skukun has closed everything up. This is the 12th time this season that uh, Skukune have scored first in a game in the DSTV Premiership. And they've gone on to win eight of their previous 11 matches in which they scored first. Drew two and lost just the one. And the one that they lost was against the Kaiser Chiefs uh, in September. Now on the flip side, When conceding first, the Pirates have only managed one win in the league this season. And that was the recent Soweto derby. Look at what that means then in terms of the tables. Kukune would go above Pirates on goal difference. And they also have a game in hand, TT. That's something that we need to point out to say. Kukune would have a, a game in hand. Stelis also has a, a game in hand. Pirates with an opportunity to, you know, just... Uh, Make up ground on Alan, on uh, Bamelodi Sundowns at the top of the table who are inactive this weekend in the DSTV Premiership. They are in action in the CAF Champions League a little later this evening. That match against uh, Young Africans Younger. What a game that promises to be. All the best to Bamelodi Sundowns who will be flying the flag uh, for, for South Africa in the quarterfinals. Yep. Soul survivors again. Away by... Cardoso. This is a man who over the years has actually had a very good run against the Lando Pirates. Uh, he used to get uh, plenty derby goals for a centre back. Also used to take penalties, of course. And Kaiser Chiefs. 
Look at Mukocho for, forever pointing fingers, forever directing the traffic. That's the leadership qualities. He's the man that, that is dictating that wall in front of that back four, making sure that he blocks the passing lanes, let Orlando Pirates have the ball in front of him so that uh, they don't hit him. Almost a few to Mabasa there. Almost a great ball to pick him out. It's a corner Mabasa felt he might have been fouled. Again, protesting vociferously. He says, I had the ball. He says, I was in control of the ball. Ooh, yeah, does, he Mobi, might have a point. does Mobi get the ball or get the man? He kicks uh, Tsikofaso Mabasa in the ball. If he doesn't get the ball and he gets the man, that should have been a penalty. They might have had a case there. It's over to Mabasa. But the angle of the ref, yeah. uh, from where uh, he's standing, that he was behind it, yeah. He, he's assuming that uh, uh, Nico Mobi gets the ball, not the He man. looked at where the ball went, yeah. It's a corner. For King, what about the short one? Goes uh, long instead. Away by Mokwana. Again, just about all those 11 jerseys were in the camp in the box of uh, Skuku. 11 red jerseys in the box of Skuku. Very nearly losing out was there. Did he impede more uh, Mo in there? Looked like he might have after losing possession and losing his footing. I think he may just have cut across uh, Mufukein and uh, Mufukein there. Here he is Mufukein. Hotto in support. Here is Hotto now. vision from Manda. He thought about playing that ball first time uh, to the side, but the pressing prep was all with Jamie Weber, anticipating that pass. He changes his mind at the last minute there. Jamie Weber again, instrumental in this uh, starting 11 uh, tonight for, for um, hands to the face the team, and to the face. Yeah, and it's a Levito that picks up a yellow card. Just to add to his night of frustration, hasn't been uh, on it this evening. Not having his best game here. Tabis uh, Levito goes into the book. It's the third Pirates player now into the book. It's kind of sums up that first half, this first half for them, eh? It's frustrating. frustrating. It's, it's frustrating for players because when you're in the development, you're taught to, to use your hands to protect yourself. And in this instance, does Zamini know where uh, Weber's face is? He does. He's just trying to feel where the opponent is. But unfortunate for him is that that hand is outstretched and it's, it's in the level of the face. And once you touch the face, it's a yellow card. Correct call. Yeah. Intent notwithstanding. Dube's pass is short. We're hearing we're, hearing we're going to have a minimum of two minutes of added time here. Kukuna United, only Mamelodi Sundowns have won more points uh, since October last year than uh, Skukune United. Zema has uh, really engineered a very good run here since uh, making the trip across town from uh, Pulukwani City. This is uh, Lithuania Lasiema's 13th match in charge of uh, Skukuna United. He's had uh, five wins, four draws, and four losses. This would be a big scalp if we could get it, but that's a long way yet. And uh, but, uh, he's going to force a rethink here from uh, Jose Rivero in terms of uh, changing things up here. But uh, again, when you are facing, as you see, this uh, the block. You, the ball needs to move a lot quicker. So the double decker pass, uh, the reinforced defense, the low block, they call it. You need to find solutions to peer that. Mukwana looking to hit on the break there, and uh, the referee says play on. He lost his footing. But uh, the Swiss in move. In fact, the man who's uh, got this, the goal that separates the teams as we need to 
a minimum of two minutes of stoppage time. Yamba Yamba was there, the Congolese center back with the last touch. No, 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 Siema animated there on the touchline, but you'll be delighted with uh, how his plan has gone thus far. This man has hardly had a save to make. It's a corner. Another one for Orlando Pirates. It's Mufuking again. Badra opts to punch it away. Only as far as Saleng, but he's closed down quickly before he could pull the trigger. You know he can hit them from that sort of range. He has put in a lot of work defensively that is Mukwana. Mukwana absolutely. And, and the likes of Nuwe, they have really assisted that midfield line uh, with dropping back and assisting defensively. And that's something that's something to acknowledge from them to say uh, they are not thinking about themselves um, with their offensive work, but they are also assisting defensively. I'd venture to say that I've seen more Mukwana in defensive positions than in attack, actually, with uh, Nuwe being the player who's uh, led the line as a uh, false nine as you describe it move again Tim and that's the whistle for look from the polo party a referee to end a first half here where well